traders. Hi, I've just got a three week uh, review and you know progress report on, on how I'm going with the Tim Sykes market prep course. So what I'm going to do here is just go through, uh, I've gone through the winning trades that I've done already. Uh, that was in the second week. So the first week I didn't really do any demo trading. I was just, you know, reviewing the DVDs. Um, I got sent the Tim Fundamentals part de and the penny stocking part de material. So I've been, you know, looking through that obviously in the video lessons too. So that was getting my foot in the door. And uh, second week, uh, what I'll do is let's let's do this. So I took a couple of positions on ZN. So this is on the 12th and 19th. So I got in here. So this was more of a, a small sort of play. This was just testing out, um, executing it. I was actually at work that evening, but I had been watching uh, ZN during the day um, previously. And I sort of thought, well, let's make a play here. So these were my positions. So nothing really ridiculous at all. So that was... Get them out of the way. So sell them board. 487. And then I sold a little bit at five well, a lot of five twelve. And then no, I I miss I misentered. I wanted a thousand and five ten, but you know, so <laughs> that worked out alright. So that was that was that. And now uh, I'll just close that down. We'll save we'll save the summary. We'll save the summary. Alright. So, okay, so what I did here was this was an AKS uh, buy. So I've gone through some analysis already on this. So I do it as soon as I finish the trade, because obviously here in Perth in Australia, it's in the evening. So um, this week I've been working sort of morning shifts. So that means, you know, getting up at four or so in the morning. Um, so, yeah, so I, I took a position here at 680 on AKS. And originally I wanted to pursue 689. And it, it spiked quite, well, the, the, what I did really was it was a preemptive breakout play and it was too early. And, you know, this is sort of how it transpired and ended up going down to 626. At around 6, I don't have it. Oh, that was the cool play, the beautiful. So I got in about 650 on a sell and I that's sort of how I played it. So I hedged a little bit. So that <laughs> saved my bacon a bit. So that was 150. So that was earlier on in the week. That was on the 26th. So that was, uh, what's the 26th? That was on Wednesday. So, and then Thursday, no trades. I was pursuing ZN. There were no shares to sh uh, to sell with Interactive Brokers. So, um, and here is the cool trade. So this was an early morning spike on Merge and News. That was the catalyst. I, you know, I was actually watching ENVV. Um, to sort of, you know, see maybe a potential morning spike. It, it's, it's been a pumped uh, company and it's sort of, you know, dumped a little bit, but I thought there was potential for, you know, an up move. Um, yeah, so this the slamming at 350. Uh, I was slow to execute and I wasn't really prepared for how quickly it, it sort of spiked. So I got in at 415, which was a late entry. And, you know, I was like, I was a little too conservative and that was a little stupid. So I really should have gone around four. Oh, 405 and then it got to 420 and then I let it go and I really you know wasn't prepared to close out the position straight away and then it went down to 380 in the end because it just kept falling and I kept you know trying to protect myself being you know I was too greedy with what I wanted to close out and it wasn't getting filled so yeah and um, shout out to Aiden as well who who mentioned this and it was low volume and it was as you can see here as well um, but yeah so I just want to show here's where we stand right now so it's negative 233 in the red so made a few you know not too bad trades it's going to sound the way so ZN started my uh, trading and Benny socks off not too badly got a little bit of um we go. So a few plays on ZN. I try to sell a little bit as well, or is this no that's not showing that at all. This is realized stuff. Okay, so that's 
that's where we're at. But, you know, three weeks in, and I would say I'm learning a great deal. So the importance is obviously you want, you want a demo test to begin with because things can move so quickly. Like, cool, you know, that, that dropped significantly after it obviously opened up. Not too badly. I think it got to like 424 was the highest. So if you got in at $4 or so after it cracked through that resistance level, you know, there was a potential to make, you know, 20 you know, so, you know, 20 cents or so. Um, but yeah, I'm just learning the nuances and, and how things behave at certain times of the day because I'm very much interested in that, obviously, with my pursuit of currency trading as well. It's been going on for 18 months, you know, and I still really haven't made. Things move a lot slower, though. You know, 1% to 2% move in a day on a currency pair is huge. So, yeah. And uh, yeah, AKS definitely in too early. And... Um, ZN I've been been watching a little bit as well. Not sure if I've got any uh, screenshots of that, but it's an interesting little arrangement. But I'll just show you how I organize myself. So um, just general analysis. Yeah, on the twenty seventh I wanted to get in. So E um, E N V V, and it actually played out not too badly. So I was you know contemplating getting in around twenty. Just over 20 because there was a little bit of hold there and you know and it got up to 22 or so so I missed out on that I think what I need to realize is potentially not just jumping in you know there was there was activity there was a lot of chatter in the um the Tim Alerts chat room and obviously I'm a novice trainer I don't fully appreciate how things you know move so one thing I'm learning is to stick to the pair I'm not the pair to the ticker you're monitoring and if it doesn't pan out, probably just step away as, you know, begin to trade because I'm sort of like, oh, you know, I want to I wanna take a trade. But, you know, if you haven't prepared, you know, for that, you know, setup and you're a little bit, you know, you haven't done the the screening process with the Sykes uh, sliding scale, it, it can really get a little bit ugly. So that's what I would sort of uh, point out. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video just, just updating the situation so I do make videos as soon as I'm done with a trade um, but this is more of an overview of you know obviously I'm uh, in in the red a little bit over two percent about two and a half percent so I've got a 10 grand uh, US dollar demo account with interactive brokers and I'm gonna just keep working on that until I'm confident with it's it's really trading is is a psychological game because um, you know, especially with how quick things move in penny stocks, if you have, you know, one losing trade, you've got to be out, you know, because, you know, just as a beginner trader, that's how I'm sort of thinking. So um, because you, you're sort of in an emotional state of, oh, the money's taken from me. I need to take something back from it. That's just human nature where you don't like to lose. But I, I, I don't really, you know, there are winning trades and then there are learning trades. And I prefer to sort of phrase it like that. Um, because, you know, with AKS and Cool, uh, both of those were just poorly timed. I mean, Cool could have made me some money if I got in. I think Tim got in at 388 or so. I was, I was monitoring the chart and I was just a little bit like, you know, hesitant. I was because, you know, AKS, I got in too early. So I was thinking in the back of my mind. But really the move was already taking place. So I needed to jump in. But with AKS, nothing had happened. It was a pre-market um, buy limit that I set. So that was, you know, I'm learning... There are steps that I'm obviously realizing that I can't uh, treat this like I would, you know, the Forex world. So in conclusion, three weeks in, that's where I'm at. Um, there's no, you know, million dollars made or anything. So yeah, that that's uh, what I've learned so far and here are the trade. So I'll, I'll be doing this, you know, once a week, just reviewing things and I think I just got a little impatient because ZN hadn't really panned out and there was there was money to be made there, but you know, it was low volume and there were no shares to uh, short and now it's come back a little bit as well. But what I need to do is refine my watch list, have screenshots prepared on, on how I, you know, read the price action, do the, the sliding scale, the psych sliding scale, and then go from there, not just simply jumping in on, on the alerts because the alerts are helpful for a seasoned trader. Obviously, like me, I don't know the ins and outs of the characteristics of the morning spike on certain tickers. 
and then obviously we're cool that you know had the catalyst but historically it would retrace quite aggressively and it it did it there wasn't really enough substance there it wasn't like an earnings winner it was you know merger talks and this and that so and the volume was a little low so that might have you know caused things just completely fall off the cliff and it was bouncing around it was me being a little greedy as well so i just want to let everyone know those were the trades that i had taken envv there was money left on the table there i disregarded that i think it just didn't want to you know move um during you know the first few minutes and i saw a cool take off and so i think patience stick with the plan and just don't really jump around things that you haven't prepared for so have a plan a you know b and c but if you just have a plan a and you've just been watching for one trade setup don't just go with no plan into the other one. So that's what I've done. And these are the consequences. Um, you know, obviously it's not real money, but I, you know, I felt terrible. I was like, you know, I hate, I hate to lose and everything. So um, there's value to the paper trading. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And um, I'll be putting up a video, probably no penny stocking video stuff tomorrow, but I will be from, from Monday onwards. All right. Thank you guys and have a good weekend. Bye.